This video, Disaster Preparedness, Using Policy Map to Develop Data-Driven Interventions for Vulnerable Populations, outlines an assignment by a professor using Policy Map in a social work course on disaster preparedness for vulnerable populations. The goal of the assignment is to learn to identify populations at risk during natural disasters, develop categories of risks based on federally designated standards, and propose intervention opportunities grounded in that information. For the assignment, teams submitted PowerPoint presentations, including maps and a two-page summary report with findings and recommendations. To provide some background, government and aid organizations are increasingly relying on current technologies such as text messaging and internet-based notifications to alert citizens of extreme weather events. But for groups in poor health, people living in poverty, the aging population, or people with limited English speaking ability, these notifications may not reach the very people who need advance warning. For service workers, getting vulnerable people out of harm's way can be a complex issue that requires data to get an accurate understanding of residents in local conditions. To get started, let's choose areas that we know are particularly prone to flood risk in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Let's say a tropical storm with lots of rainfall is expected to hit. The goal of this assignment is then to determine how to best reach the residents of flood-prone areas and to develop recommendations for outreach to ensure everyone is informed and able to mobilize. We can find the areas at highest risk of flooding in the upcoming storm by looking at FEMA flood maps. When considering how to reach residents, one of the first considerations that students should look into is what language is spoken in these areas. Let's look at the most commonly spoken languages after English. In these flood zones, Spanish and Vietnamese are predominant languages among the non-English speaking population. So we know that we may need to prepare messaging in those languages. To justify the use of limited resources, we need to identify the most vulnerable areas. We'll use the three layer maps tool to pay particular attention to vulnerability based on minority status and language ability. We can narrow our focus to only highly vulnerable populations. We know that all of the vulnerable populations in the purple areas with high flood risks should receive messages in Spanish and Vietnamese. Let's see if those people at risk due to language barriers can be reached via internet messaging by looking at the areas where more than 25% of the population lacks internet access. Looking at the areas in purple, we can see the populations that will need direct outreach through phone calling or door-to-door -door visiting, and that direct outreach will need speakers of Spanish and Vietnamese. For our assignment, we could print out this map and the predominant language map and include them with a two-page report detailing the vulnerable populations we identified, their translation needs, and the limitations to reaching a subset of them via current technologies. We could then make recommendations about print or door-to-door -door messaging in neighborhoods with no internet access, and we could suggest that all forms of communication include Spanish, Vietnamese, and English in those flood-prone areas, preventing vulnerable residents from experiencing possible evacuation challenges.